Good morning. It's March the 9th chit chat time. My coffee cup's empty. I'm just going to pour me some coffee while I talk to you just for a minute because I'm really busy today. But I'm busy every day. Today, I'm going to find my beans here in a minute. Today, the other day I had, had cooked a big old ham. And, I, and I, this is the ham bone. And that's some of the trimmings. I'm going to put on a pot of beans. And the rest of it, I've been here just kind of cubing it up. Making, got this, got this bowl started with my little cubes of ham. Because that's what I'm going to, I'm going to put part of it in the freezer for another day. Because you know me, I like to, see if I make extra, I like to have some in the freezer to pull out on the days that I don't cook. But I'm cubing that up. And see, there's a lot of fat on some of it, so I'm going to trim that fat off that. Save them for a pot of beans for Terry. I can't eat the beans on my ketogenic diet, so I'm not going to, not making them for me. I cook for both of us. Since I'm eating one way and he's eating another way, I cook both ways. So, I still... I've still got some more to go. There's my little cubes of ham. I've still got this whole bowl to trim, and I've got chores i got to go out and do. But I, this, let me wipe my hands. Because I'm going to talk to you about what I'm going to do with part of it. I've got, mi I've got milk, milk and eggs. So what I'm going to do with part of this ham is I'm going to make a, I've got broccoli in the refrigerator. It's not out here, but I'm going to make a cheesy ham broccoli soup with part of it with the, with the, the ham and the broccoli and the milk and the butter. And then I want to take part of this and the broccoli and the eggs and the milk and make a, a broccoli ham quiche. And that'll be low carb and the soup will be low carb. And then I'm going to take part of it. Like I said, I've got a whole bunch of it. I'll take part of it. And I'll cook this some a little bit of this elbow macaroni, and then I'll make a cheesy ham and and a elbow pasta uh, casserole for Terry. So he won't have to. He can eat. He can eat the pasta, and I can't. So that that's kind of what I'm going to do with all this ham. And since there's probably going to be a lot of it, part of it will go in the freezer for another day. But I've got this cheese book here. I bought it several years ago off of eBay. Uh, one hour of cheeses. And I've got all this milk. And I use some of the recipes in here. But there's one here that I've been wanting to make for a long time. But I haven't made it. So I think it's about time to put it on my to-do list and try it. It's called the Smoky che Cheater. Smoky Cheater. I'm going to show you. This is, this is what it's going to look like. And you kind of make it like I make the mozzarella, but it's got the turmeric and paprika and such in it, and a gallon of milk. There, you got all the step-by-step -step directions. I'm not an expert at anything, so so I love it when I find a a recipe that shows me exactly what to do. Look at those those pictures; aren't they interesting? I've been wanting to do it for a long time, and and I don't know what I'll make with the cheese after I get it made. I'll have to make some recipes out of this book just so I can show you. And what did they do? And they made made they made those little grilled cheese sandwiches out of the the smoky smoky cheater. Smoky cheater butter lettuce leaves. Then these sliced pickles, crispy bacon, cucumbers, and other vegetables. So I guess there's no bread. That's a low carb keto. We gotta try that one. And what else is in here? Anyway, there's a there's some more in here. We'll have to try them. Let's see what else. oh what do we got there? They took some cheese curds there. And they're cutting them out in shapes. I've got to do some of this while I've got my cow. I'm still milking my cow. Real. And there's just, this one's just classic cottage cheese. The way I do my cottage cheese is I let the, 
the milk sour and make the curds. And then I just heat it and strain it. It works pretty good. I don't put a lot of stuff in it. There's the there's their cottage cheese. They make she makes it a little different than what I make mine because I make mine the old fashioned way with the 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 curds. So one hour one hour cheeses. I've got to to study this book a little more and make some stuff out of it. Oh, I still didn't get that cobbler made for Terry. Maybe that's on my to-do list today. He still wants some dessert. He all the time wants something. I think I've got that man's fault. And yesterday I had somebody give me an acorn squash. I'm going to put that in the oven here in a little bit, and I'm going to cook that. I'm just always blessed with more food than what I need, I think. Need to, you know, all that stuff I told you I was going to make, the soup, the quiche, the beans, the the ham casserole with that. I've just got a big to-do list. What's on your to-do list today? You know, tell me in the comments. I hope I get back on here after a while and make a make some kind of cooking video to show you how I'm kind of going to, how I've created what I plan on creating. <laughs> I, I just hope y'all have a lovely day. Prayers for all of you. Hugs to all of you. I love y'all for listening. For, for dropping in and visiting with me and chatting with me in my, in my messy kitchen. You always, y'all always come by when my kitchen's a mess, but I don't ever get it cleaned up. So we'll just have to put up with the mess. <laughs> we'll have to put up with the mess. Bye for now. I'll talk to you guys after a while.